have a multiplication with fractions. We have 5p minus 5 all over p times 3p squared over 10p minus 10. Now with fractions, we multiply across. But before I start my multiplication, I'm going to simplify as much as I can. So I look here. I have 5p minus 5. I can pull out a 5. So I pull out a 5. I'm left with p minus 1. On the bottom, I just have a p. I can't do anything there times, on the top here, 3p squared. Can't simplify that, so I'm going to leave it there. On the bottom, I have 10p minus 10. I can pull out a 10. Therefore, I'm left with p minus 1. Now, before I start multiplying across, I can simplify this. I can start crossing stuff off. If you see something on the top that matches the bottom or something you can simplify, you can cross it off. I have a p minus 1 here, p minus 1 there. That's gone. You can get rid of it. Then I see I have a 5 here and a 10 here. 5 goes into 5 one time, 5 goes into 10 two times. I also see I have a P here and I have 2 here. So I can get rid of this 1P and get rid of 1 here, therefore I'm still left with 1P on the top. Therefore when I multiply across I get 1 times 3P is 3P. On the bottom the only thing left is my 2. Therefore, my final answer is 3p over 2. So simplify, cross stuff off, then multiply across.